Hi students, let us continue with the pointers topic. In the previous video, I explained about the arrays and pointers. Now let us see what is arrays of pointers. So as a group of arrays will be there. So those represent it pointers, arrays of pointers. So it's nothing but it is a collection of addresses. So arrays of pointers means it is a collection of addresses or collection of pointers. So pointer itself is you call it as an address. So arrays of pointers means collection of addresses. So let how we declare the arrays of pointer declaration. First data type pointer pointer name and the size of an array so here in previous uh, pointers and arrays what we had taken first we declare the array after that the base address is assigning to the pointer so that is arrays and pointers then arrays of pointers means a collection of addresses how we store the collection of addresses so a pointer a pointer name and the size it indicates a collection of addresses okay so let us see how we declare it in the example int is the data type pointer p of 5 pointer p of 5 so this represents it represents an array so this is an array of pointers array of pointers that can hold five integer element addresses so here uh, it stores the five integer elements addresses so arrays of pointers collection of addresses so five integer element addresses will be stored in p of pointer p of five p of zero p of one p of two P of 3, P of 4, which holds the 5 integer element addresses. Now, let us see the initialization. So, here we have seen the declaration. Now, see the initialization. So, the same for that, uh, whatever we have seen, the address is used for, ampersand symbol is used for, initialize so the same example int a of 3 so it's a general 10 20 30 int pointer p of 3 comma i so to access this we need for i is equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus P of i is equal to address of a of i. So, that will be assigned to the pointer. So, this is an initialization. Initialization of a array of pointers. So, first you have to declare the array of pointers. So, here are the three elements that holds the address of the elements. Pointer P of 3. So, when this each, each pointer can be accessed by using this. This is an initialization. P of i is equal to address of a of i now let us see the program of this uh, array of pointers so here this is a declaration and initialization now let us see the accessing also then we will uh, see the program so here the accessing how we can access the array of pointers accessing so, for accessing the array of pointers, we need the indirect indirection operator. Sorry, indirection operator that is pointer is used for accessing. Okay. So, let's see the example how to access the uh, array of pointers. You have to use a for loop. So, to access the array, you need for loop. So, array of pointers means for i is equal to 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. 
you have to use a printf for accessing the elements that is pointer p of i so this is the accessing of element now let us see the program for this program for array of pointers hash include stdio.h okay now writing the main program first i am declaring the array of three elements that is initializing 10 20 30 so this is a single dimensional array so after that i want to declare the array of pointers point, pointer of 3 and i for for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus you have to print you have to assign the each address of an array of element to the pointer variable so after that we have to print that pointer variable you have to if you want to get the value of that uh, this is a, it p of i now holds the address so if you represent pointer p of i pointer p of i means it prints whatever the value that is present in that address location so p of i is equal to address of a of i now printf elements of the array or so for printing each value by using the pointers means you need to write the for loop printf percent ld i am using the tab space for each element pointer p of i so pointer p of i means it holds the it prints the values and this prints the it holds the address p of i holds the address pointer p of i holds the value of that in that address close the main then what will be the output here the output is first elements of array or So here I already declare initialize the array. So this is a compile time initialization. So directly it prints elements of array or 10, 20, 30. So with tab space. So this is about the array of pointers. Thank you.